Our hospitals are hurting and they're short on beds, they're short on staff with really no wind in sight. But don't take my word for it. Tonight, an ER doctor from Midland Memorial walks us through the challenges that our front line currently faces. Sammy Steele has this story. Tatum, a few months ago, the ER wasn't seeing any COVID patients. ER visits in general were actually down. Well, fast forward to today, and there's not enough beds and not enough staff to care for COVID patients. But it's getting to the point that it's hard to care for your everyday emergency patients. One ambulance after the next, carrying COVID patients to the emergency department. You know, we, we pride ourselves in the ER about being able to be adaptable and take care of whatever comes along. But we're, we're certainly, for some reason, really getting pushed harder during even during this round than we were last year. Last year, when the world was still fairly shut down and masks were mandated, the ER was seeing about 120 or so patients a day. That number has doubled. Yesterday, there were 244 patients. It's hard on the patients, it's hard on the nurses and the other support staff, and it's, it's hard on the physicians, just from the standpoint that where you take an already difficult uh, environment and, and job and, and add multiple layers of, of difficulty on top of it. Sometimes we can have six or seven or eight ambulances all parked. For some doctors and nurses, the stress is so much, they've decided to find work in other places. There are people are quitting and uh, going to other venues of care where, where the, the, the stress and the, the loads are, are not as great. How do we stop the system from being overwhelmed? I would really hope that as people see their communities suffering and people dying as a consequence of this, that they would just know what, what they already, well, they already know what to do. They would just do what they know to do. We've been through this already. Um, even if you don't get vaccinated, wear a mask. For Midland Memorial Hospital, not a single patient who has had the vaccine has died of COVID-19. A statistic Dr. Peterson wishes more people in our community understood. Tatum.